Michigan Ohio State game for this weekend on hold. Officials canceled that matchup because of increasing COVID-19 infections. Justin Rose joins us now with more on what the team is saying. And this is a tough one here, Justin. It certainly is. For the first time in over 100 years, the game will not be played. It's an unfortunate day for both Michigan and Ohio State as COVID-19 has thrown this college football season into a tailspin. We wanted to, you know, with everything that we have, uh, the Michigan-Ohio State game uh, is the greatest rivalry uh, in this sport. Uh, and so this is, this is a really um, hard day, hard time. Michigan did not release the number of players that had tested positive for COVID-19 or the numbers through contact tracing. The ramifications of this game not being played will be felt not only locally, but across the college football world. But make no mistake, if Michigan could play, they would. The players to a man wanted to play this, play this game. As numbers continue to grow, we can't ignore and put first how much we want to play this great game uh, against Ohio State. This really reflects a significant uptick, uptick in uh, COVID activity in our communities. Um, as, as you know, those numbers are increasing across the, across the state, the, the country, the, the, the world. And, um, you know, we're not, we don't live in bubbles. We have to put their health and safety first and until we have uh, a good sense of, um, uh, of that and, and the control of that, there's no reason why we should move forward uh, knowing uh, that we don't have a, a good handle on, the, on this, uh, the COVID cases on our team right now. Now Michigan will continue to monitor their players and continue testing, and they hope that they'll be able to play a game on December 19th. As to who they'll play, still up in the air, nor Ward Manuel or Jim Harbaugh threw out the idea of playing Ohio State during that final weekend. Guys? Yeah. yeah, just a real tough one there for both teams and, of course, the players on either side. But, again, the top priority is the health and safety of those players. Justin, thank you.